Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video and this time this video is for Amazon Web Services Solution Architect Associate Level Exam. From today I'll be making videos on Amazon Web Services Solution Architect video series. We have covered some topics of Azure, we have covered some topics of uh, Azure PowerShell, we have covered some topics of Azure uh, DevOps as well. Well, from today, I'll do the Amazon Cloud stuff. Well, it is very fast, it is very detailed. And let's start with Amazon S3 and uh, the simple storage service. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like these videos and share it with your teammates. Okay, we're back. This is Amazon S3 Basics. See, Amazon S3 stores data as objects within buckets. Like you access the Google Drive and you make folders, you make subfolders, then you place your images, PDF documents and videos, anything you want to place. So in Amazon S3, if you want to define a storage, you make a parent bucket. Then like you make a root folder in Windows and root folder in Google Drive, you make a parent folder which is called buckets and then an object consists of a file and optionally any metadata that describes that file metadata you know data about data is called metadata well to store an object in amazon s3 you upload the file you want to store to a bucket when you upload a file you can set permissions on the object as well as any metadata permission are like if you want to make the public you want you want to make that file a bucket is private you want to make a specific folder inside that bucket is public or private and buckets are the containers for objects you can have one or more buckets like you can have uh, a separate name bucket for your friends your team your teammates your family members your relatives or department wise you can have a separate bucket for HR, marketing, technical, finance, etc. etc. You can control access to it. Who can create, delete, and list object like you do it on Windows, you do it on OneDrive, Google Drive. And then S3 lets you store your data. As simple as that. You can view access logs for it, its objects, and choose the geographical region where Amazon S3 will store the bucket and its contents because you can do a replication of your buckets as well. I'll let you know each and every feature in the coming videos of Amazon S3 Basics. Okay, I'm logged on to my Amazon S3 and I'm logged on to my Amazon. This is my account. It's just log on. You don't want to go to Amazon.com. That is a shopping site. You have to go to Amazon Console Login. And then you will have to if you if you have an Amazon account you can keep it that keep that same and if you don't have one you can make a new account it's for free you can access your billing dashboard security credential and this is the reason make sure that it's by default California I'm not in California I'm in my location do they have India Asia, Pacific, Sydney, Singapore, Seoul, Mumbai. Okay, let me go from Mumbai. You can change the location from here. <laughs> All right. Now, find service. You can find a service. You can type in S3 here. Scalable storage in cloud. Or you can go to services. And under storage, you will find this find S3. Click on S3. Right. You do not have any buckets. Thank you. I know that. Create a bucket. If you have created accounts in Azure Storage account, you would see that. It should not be empty. It should be good, global, unique, identify. Anyone can use any bucket name across the globe, across anywhere. And you cannot keep in in capitals, right? So test 
pocket dash one my region is asia pacific you can select any other region as well okay do you want to copy settings from an existing bucket no because i don't do not have any buckets you click on next bucket name already exists so it is uh the globally unique identifier test yes, sir bucket next we will discuss these options in the next videos let's go with the default you can do versioning you can do server access login key value you can add tags onto this as well i do not want to enable cloud trail or logging here these are separate topics let's not mix with the s3 right let's keep it default for now mm -hmm. this is the review create bucket i see my test asser bucket here see the nice shape here click on it upload you can either drag and drop here and 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 let's go to my desktop add files go to desktop to look for other options to set the permissions i am the owner there is no one else in this uh, organization to access these resources i am not granting any public permissions i am going with standard and we will discuss the different options the intelligent tearing the ia infrequent access glacier as well this metadata attack we will discuss this later let's go with the default options click on upload choose the bar here i click on here it says 100% successful i see my file here so this is my bucket right this is my bucket see my file here i can click on this file i am the owner i can download it i can make it public i can set permissions on the file right i can copy the files here go here click on it you click on actions you can get the total size you can change the storage class change encryption you can make it public you can rename it delete it what not right so this is what in s3 buckets look like and i will discuss more options more videos regarding amazon different components that is provided by amazon and you do not forget to subscribe to this channel share the videos mention in your feedback i'll see you in the next video bye bye